guys, I'm freaking out. I really have to pee and I can't go to the bathroom because if I get a phone call, I can't answer in the bathroom because it's just really awkward. I have my proud CP I make magic shirt and I have both my name tags up here. So it's kind of, like calming me down a little bit, but I'm still like, oh my god. I'm more nervous than the first time. Like the first time I painted my nails and I watched Peter Pan and here I'm staring out the window and jumping up and down because I have so much nerves. <sighs> I'm really afraid that like it's not gonna get reception. I'm gonna like lose all hope. Warm and many years during the last one, so don't judge me. Five minutes! The phone interview can come anywhere from like 15-20 minutes beforehand your time or 15 20 minutes after your time, so I like, you don't really know when it's coming. It's coming within a 40 minute interval. So like, I've been waiting since like 3.45. I really have to pee, but I can't. 4.17! I need gum, but I don't know if I have any. A watched phone doesn't do anything. I thought I heard it buzz, but it's not. I have it on sound. I hope. Yeah, I do. I have it on sound. Oh my god, guys, I'm so nervous. <laughs> this is the only thing that calms me down is just talking to the camera. It's 418. It's happening. Hello, this is Chelsea. Hello, Chelsea. This is Shrake with the Super Radio. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm calling about the Super Radio 54. Yes, it is. I'm very excited. <laughs> Sounds good. That is correct. Yes, I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'm either going to graduate in the in December or in January. I haven't really worked out all the details yet, but it's one or the other. Yeah. No, I am a U.S. resident. I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I was in the fall. I know, it's so sad. Like, I, it just feels like I was just there. A little bit. Yeah, the only thing I have is uh, my the one regular hole in my ears. I don't have any tattoos or other piercings or anything. I was in Chatham and I was in a four bedroom eight person. It wasn't awful. Um, I've had roommates here. <laughs> I've had um, I've lived with one roommate, so living with another roommate wasn't an issue. Um, I tried to link up with seven other girls, but our date didn't allow us to do that, so we just linked up with our respective roommates and we all got split up, which, you know, was probably a good thing in the end because I don't think we all would have gotten along really well, but 
the girl that I linked up with, I loved her, still love her, still talk to her and everything. Um, the other girls in my apartment, like, we got along and we could live with each other, but it, we didn't have that, you know, the same schedules or similar interests to go hang out at all, so. Yeah. Yeah. It was good. You know, I was really close to the pool, so I went there a few times when it was warm. Um, and I met a lot of friends there from just passing. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, of course. Um, so I, I worked in Hollywood Studios and I absolutely loved it. Like it was, it was, I was not like a Star Wars fan at all. And I was in the Star Wars part and it was like, you know, using theme language and I got to know all the characters and all the plot lines and the movies and everything. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, and I really liked creating a lot of magic for everybody. You know, I was, I yeah. traded a lot of my shifts so I could be the, on the low cart for the fireworks and it was the okay. best role ever. I loved it so much. Um, and I really liked making magic for everyone. You know, I would pick up other shifts at like Magic Kingdom, Epcot, and it was, it was a good environment getting to know different places of work and not just working in the same area as much. Correct. Yeah, she really liked low, huh? I really liked low. Like, um, I picked up a shift at Magic Kingdom and I didn't actually get to do it because they needed volunteers to go into Memento Mori because they were short that day and I was like, well, no one from Glow wants to do it. Memento Mori is one of my favorite stores, so I'll do it. So I didn't actually get to do Glow at Magic Kingdom, but I actually picked up a few Phantasmic shifts and that, I don't know what I liked more, if I liked Phantasmic or working for the fireworks more because both were just so amazing. I think I liked them equal. Um, there was one time when I worked in Sir Mickey's in Fantasyland, and this mom came up to me and said, my daughter has an, had an accident, and I just really need, like, a shirt or something to let her, you know, get her out of her dirty clothes or whatever, so, um, and I went all around the store with the little girl, she had to be five, six, and we ended up picking out this really cute Minnie Mouse shirt, and I ended up no-stringing it for them, because I, I, uh, saw that there was a lot of parents that would come in with kids that would have accidents and they would actually buy the clothing and um you know that was one thing I wanted to do and the mother was so thankful she was like it's her birthday tomorrow too and I was just like I, I had to hug her and everything it was really adorable oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, that awesome. yeah I did I like it. It's, um, I really like interacting with all the different, um, guests that sit at my tables. Um, not necessarily, like, the food, but just, you know, um, oh my gosh, I haven't worked there in so long, it's, like, losing my mind. Was it, like, a special event? Um, it, it was, so it's a banquet hall, and it hosts, right. like, weddings and graduations and retirement parties and everything. Like right. Um, so, you know, we would go in the morning, set up, so, set up for, like, uh, uh, I'm sorry, getting flustered. 
set up the place and the silverware and the place where, and I can't talk today, but, um, yeah, um, and, you know, put decorations all up, and, uh, if the wedding party brought in, like, table numbers and go set up the place with that and everything, and then, um, right, and then coming in later, and then you would serve them and interact with the guests at your table and be like, hi, my name's Chelsea, I'm going to be your server today, if you guys need anything, let me know, you know, right, being in a restaurant without, you know, having to deal with all the different menu items because there was only one thing being served. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was, it wasn't like tedious or anything, but it was the same thing like pattern wise, so it was very easy to do. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Um, I liked being out on glow more than being in a store. I would get scheduled a lot in Tatooine. And granted, Tatooine was, like, great. You know, building lightsabers was one of my favorite things to do. But I really just liked being outside. I got, I felt like I got more interaction with guests. Being, oh, hey, if you need the bathroom, it's over this way. Toy Story's over this way. Um... And, yeah, like, I didn't feel like I was overwhelmed and glow at all. And I would get, I would get some of the families that would be like, hey, it's our first time, you know, where, what do you recommend that we do first? And I would give them a quick little layout of the park, because it's not that big. So it took, like, three sentences to say. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> um, I know like a lot of the times it'd be like, I bet you get this often, but where's the bathroom? And I would always just laugh and be like, it's right over here behind you. Um, kind of that. And then... Um, ringing up everybody, it was just, how's your day going, you know, what Star Wars character is your favorite, you know. Exactly. of a time I mean because we had we had at least 11 cast members in Tatooine at one time so there was multiple registers open where even if there was a line one of the other side could be like hey sir I'll help you over here um, um and then like I said I was on blow a lot so it was more so like seven people coming out to me, hey, how much is the bubble wand? The bubble wand is $20. And, you know, I'd be pulling out cash out of my apron to, you know, give change and then be like, how much is the bubble wand? The bubble wand is $20. Or I'd be like, I'd be like counting and then I'd be like turning my head and be like, it's $20 as soon as I would hand the cash to the other person. So trying to multitask, but, you know, doing things in the same order as what they come to you. Yeah, I took, I took two collegiate classes. I took human resource management and corporate communications. Wow, well, good for you. So, I mean, that could be a lot. You know, you're working 40 hours a week at least, and then doing those classes, that class work. Do you find it kind of okay? Are you easy for you to manage all that? Or was it difficult? I don't like being bored. So, I don't like sitting in my room and doing nothing. So, yeah, I would, um, normally I had... I had classes Tuesday or Monday to uh, Thursday in the morning. Normally, I wouldn't have a shift. Sometimes I did, so I would, you know, pick up my stuff and go to my shift. Um, 
but other times I would go, all right, I'm going to Magic Kingdom. Okay, I'm going to Epcot. Like, I'm going to go play in the parks. Um, and especially, like, like, working some, most of the shifts I had were kind of in the afternoon, especially because studios has, like, weird hours. But if I had a morning shift, I would go, go in the morning, go play in the park. If I had an uh, afternoon shift, I would, you know, either um, wake up an hour or two earlier, go in the park, go on, like, two or so rides, and then go to work, and then go see the fireworks after or something like that. Right. Oh, of course. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. So I, I loved merchandise. I would do it again in a heartbeat. Um, Attractions, I think, was one of my top roles when I first applied, and I I don't have, like, a degree in theater or anything, but I did theater in high school, so I really wanted a role, one of the attractions that had, like, a spiel or something, because I just, I can memorize things like the back of my hand, so... Um, you say, unfortunately, little one, that you're too short to ride the ride for the safety of you. Um, but, you know, you can use a rider switch fa uh, pass to, for the parents to go on with the other child. Um, and then give them a fast pass maybe for another ride to go on in the meantime. List off all the rides that they can ride. Or, I know um, Primeva World specifically, I don't know if anybody else does it, but, like, they have the card where it's like, I was, you know, this tall on this day and I can ride it on this day, so if they bring it back in the future, they can use it as a fast pass then. Yeah, I mean, I would, I would prefer to like do something else other than quick service, but I mean, I'd be, I'm open, it's fine. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. Yep. I can't tell you how many times I sweep the floor in Tatooine. <laughs> Honestly, as long as I was in a park, I think I would be okay, because I liked being fast-paced, and I'm not sure how everything at the resorts are. I know my friend worked at a resort, and she said it was slow at times, so I I would prefer something that's, like, you know, constantly, and I could, you know, walk up to them and be like, hey, do you guys know where you're going if I wasn't, you know, doing something at the moment? Yeah, I've, I've been to the park so many times. Yeah. Uh, yes.
Sounds like a plan. You mentioned you did the college program. What did you do? Oh, that sounds like fun. I love talking to people. I like being out. I like I like being outside too. I feel you. No, I think I'm good. Thank you for having so much energy. <laughs> oh yeah. Will do. Have a magical night yourself. Okay, thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Ah! I think that went so well. I think her, she said her name was Sheila. It broke up a little bit. Sheila, I think. Um, everyone was posting like they had like um, someone who wasn't like that energetic. But, you know, you saw me. I was smiling the entire time. Like, that was so good. And I felt like... Oh, I'm so excited. Um, so just a quick recap before I forget. So talked about, about merchandise. She asked me stuff about like opening open a quick service and everything because it's the same skills, which it is. Don't really want to do quick service, but you know what? I'll do it. It's fine. Um, and then she also said, you know, with talking to a lot of people, that's also custodial, which I said I want to be in a park because I like being high, uh, fast paced and having really high energy and everything. So I think that went really well, so, um, yeah, you know, hopefully that guy, that helped you guys, I know it's gonna help me in the future when I go look back on this and, you know, see how happy I was, and, you know, I have my little thing that says, smile, so, ah, uh, alright, so, if you guys have any questions, comment down below, like this video, it helped you, and until next time, like, ah, uh, have a magical night, guys, bye! Thank you.